Hey everyone, it's Saturday evening. I just got done doing an NG reboot and my apologies for breaking down at the end of it. <sighs> this stuff happens. I'm having a hard time lately. I know I've been off work and that's been wonderful. I've had wonderful times with my family and I just thank God for the days I've had off and <sighs> I'm not ready to go back to work. Um, Every now and then, I guess you have those moments where the, I don't know, something triggers the the depression and you just have to break down. And for some reason, exercising did it um, and I just lost it and had to cry and I don't know, that's just me, an emotional basket case at times. Um, I read through my entire, um, grief book that the counselor gave me. I have my next appointment on Tuesday. And I'm starting to think that the depression is actually affecting me physically. Um, my lower back. And sometimes the headaches or the neck aches. And I don't like it and I don't know what to do. I'm just trying and I don't know why I have to be the type to constantly dwell on stuff I mean I just I just want to be happy <sighs> thank God for the little road trips we've done with my family <sighs> it was nice um, most recent sad news was my stepdad he is in the hospital right now and he lives in Alabama, so I'm unable to go z see him. And honestly, I haven't seen him since since the year my mom died. He, or was it the year after? I don't know. He moved to Alabama to get away, whatever. Um, and he is planning to get remarried. So it was his fiance that called us. And said that he was in the hospital. She took him in Monday, last Monday, um, or this past Monday. And on Thursday, they did um, five bypasses. The stint that he had put in years ago, when my mom was still alive, was blocked, as were several other arteries. Um... And he had lost a bunch of weight while he's in Alabama, too, so not that that has anything to do with anything, but he's having more issues, and um, prior to that, it's um, Scott still not doing that great. He's home, but he still doesn't have answers as to why, you know why what's happening to him is happening so I really want him to find answers because he's <sighs> I just feel so bad um Heidi's death my dad's death my mom's death my mom's death still bothers me so does my dad's and Heidi's does too and I just feel sometimes guilty for trying to move on, even though that's what I'm supposed to do. I went in and weighed at Weight Watchers this morning, and my weight was the same as last week, so I guess that's okay that I maintained. But, uh, I just don't feel like mentally I'm there right now I haven't um my NGU was the first time I've exercised since the last NGU and I haven't been writing down or recording what I eat journaling any of that I haven't been drinking water I haven't I haven't been 
I haven't been trying at all. And I am fully aware of that. And I just don't know. I don't know what to do. I need time to... I've seriously thought about going to the doctor and talking to her about everything. I would love more time off work. But I don't know. My lower back still hurts. Sometimes I've had, um, um, burning in my stomach, like a burning feeling. Not often, but sometimes. And so I'm afraid that might be an ulcer. <sighs> so, that's me. A complete mess right now. Um, I don't know. I just don't know. I need to refocus on myself, and I don't know how. <sighs> Tomorrow's Easter, and I know that part of me is having a problem with that, too, because in the past, Easter was go to my mom's house, and we'd, you know, call our eggs and have dinner, and the kids would... And I miss that stuff. Six years later, and holidays are still hard. Um, but I do, I am very thankful I have my husband and kids. Oh my gosh. If I didn't have them, quite frankly, I'd probably be suicidal. <laughs> I don't know. So, I'm sorry for yet another emotional video, but, and another long one, holy crap. <sighs> just breathe, just breathe. And I will sometime get there. I hope. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Peace and love. Bye.